and welcoming to the stage the Emmett Cohen Trio. <laughs> Philip Moore, Joe Farnsworth, and a very special guest, Houston Person.
say something. How y'all doing tonight? It's a pleasure to be here. This is our third night of our run here at, uh, at Birdland and uh, we do five nights in a row and it's rare that you get to establish a residency in, in, in a place. These days it's more like one gig here and then you gotta fly across the world to play another gig and then fly back across the world so it's nice to be here and uh, be home, you know, it feels like home here, uh, and definitely feels like home with some of the greatest musicians in the world up here. On the drums, he comes from South Hadley, Massachusetts, and uh, he's played with McCoy Tyner and, and, and Pharaoh Sanders and toured with um, uh, Cedar Walton and Junior Cook and Curtis Fuller and everyone. He's uh, a real New York legend. And uh, we've developed a, a beautiful friendship over the past over the past ten years, and uh, he's been mentoring a lot of young musicians around New York City. And uh, he has this famous hashtag called "Time to Swing." That's because when Joe Farnsworth is on the gig, it's time to swing, and, uh, and that's not an easy thing to do. But he makes it seem so easy, so comfortable, and uh, just just about the music, trying to bring people together wherever he goes. One of the greats of our time. That's Mr. Joe Farnsworth. <laughs> Playing the bass from Raleigh, North Carolina. 
<laughs> That's what you think of Raleigh? <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> he almost spit out his drink when I said Raleigh. Um, <laughs> Bill's a country, country boy. Um, and he moved to New York uh, about seven or eight years ago, got a couple degrees at the Juilliard School and kept it moving, has been on the road uh, every single day. He's had a gig since he graduated school about two, three, four years ago now. And uh, he's been playing with the likes of uh, Joshua Redman, David Sanborn, um, Wynton Marsalis, uh, many others. And uh, it's just a pleasure to share the bandstand with him. He's on the rise, one of the great bass players of our time. That's Mr. Philip Norris. <laughs> And well, what can you say <laughs> when you're on stage with, with, with a master, a true master, uh, that, that, that means that he invented something that everyone else is trying to figure out how to do and assimilate and, and copy. Uh, he's a true innovator, uh, but someone who just takes the music and, and makes poetry with it. Uh, no, matter, no matter where or how it is, I've heard him in a, in a thousand contexts, and when I was about 20 years old, I tried to meet him. I came up to you on the jazz cruise, and I said, uh, Mr. Person, I'd like to play with you someday. He said, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but he was always nice, and he was always supportive, and, uh, And I, and I kept trying, and I kept trying, and every year I would see him, and, 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 uh, and, and we ended up develop, developing a friendship, and, uh, and he, he has taken me and, and my, my peers on as, as mentees, and uh, that's a very beautiful, important thing to, to have happen to, to young musicians, to have someone with that amount of knowledge and experience and depth of spirit uh, to, to, to share what they know, what, they've, what, they've, what he's uh, experience to pass that down to us, um, you know, never with any lessons, just with the horn, just with the good times and just trying to make people dance with the music, make people smile with the music. And I've learned so, so, so much from him. Um, we're celebrating his 88th birthday this year. That's that's one for every key of the piano. That's one, that's one birthday for every key of the piano. For those of you who don't know, the keyboard has 88 keys on it. Um, he comes from South Carolina, and he's one of the greatest to ever play that instrument. The one and only Houston person. So, well, <laughs> let's, we'll save that. Um, <laughs> we, um, you know, we're also excited. We, we recorded a record together at Rudy Van Gelder's studio a couple of months ago that uh, will, will be coming out pretty soon. And, um, you know, the way they do things these days is they put out singles and uh, they ask, you know, ask you, what, what, what single do you want? Uh, to be put out first, and that means what's your favorite track on the record? And, uh, you know, it didn't take me long to figure out that my favorite track on the record was something that Houston introduced me to in this jazz idiom. Uh, it's written by Billy Joel, and, uh, and Houston said, you know, that would really be a great swing tune, and I would have never thought of that myself, and that's what he does. He takes all those tunes and figures out just the exact way to present them uh, in, in this kind of setting. And so we're going to play now for you, Billy Joel's Just the Way You Are.
Thank you very much. Once again, Joe Farnsworth on the drums. <laughs> Philip Norris on the bass. My name's Emmett Cohen on the piano. Once again, the maestro. The master himself, Mr. Houston Stafford Person Jr. Y'all want to hear one more? And if you want to hear two more, we got CDs for sale.
Thank you for joining us and hope that you've enjoyed your evening. If you'd like to take the music home with you, there are CDs available at the gift shop. And so here with us through Saturday night, so if you can't make it back, please tell your friends. And once again, on behalf of all of us here at Birdland, We'd like to thank you for supporting live music, and please, arrive.